Hi, welcome to Revit for BIM Training Seminar, Session 1 The Basics, Part 13, Sheets for Printing. This video is going to be a quick look at how to sort sheets out, and we'll quickly look what's in there as default. If I expand Sheets in my project browser, there is one in there waiting named A1 Unnamed. This is an A1 sheet, Autodesk branding at the top and some information here ready to auto fill as you go from the properties quickly demonstrate that for instance drawn by drawn by saint author and author if i want to make a change there hit enter and that gets changed there i can also do that by slow double clicking into there making that change and it auto updates back to there Okay, how to get information onto this sheet. If I want to put on the level zero plan, I can just click from the project browser, drag and drop. Click to drop it. And I get a 1 to 100 plan. It displays to the extents of the plan um, by default. So I'm also getting in these elevation markers. If I want to change the scale, I can do in here. If I want to change the title, if I don't want, for instance, that line on it, I've got a few different ones here. I can have no title, title, no line. And with that, that leaves the title and the scale. I can drag and drop that around as I want to. If I don't want these markers to show up, I've got to go back to the level zero plan and make some changes to do the change I want. I want to crop down this view. If I turn on crop region, these crop view and crop region, turn on hit apply, I get to see this box. That allows me to basically trim down what I'm seeing. Now you have to be relatively careful using this. If you forget it's there and you start wondering why you can't build an object outside of your cropped view, you are building it, it's just you can't see it. I'm going to turn off this rectangle here using the hide crop region. Now if I jump back that's auto updated and it's a lot smaller so I can pull down and neaten that up a little bit. The name here level zero refers to what is shown in the project browser I could change it there as well, but level zero is quite a useful floor plan name. The better way of changing what that title would be would be to go back over here and under identity data title on the sheet I could say my floor plan just for example. Then jump back to the sheet and you'll see that that title has changed without having to change level zero as an organizational tool which really that is in your project browser. The graphic appearance of this plan can be changed by highlighting it and changing some of the things over here in the graphics. I can have shadows for instance that kind of thing. The better way of doing that though if I just undo that move there, is control what this floor plan looks like from here. I could have that as realistic shading for instance and then that's going to pick that change up there. Okay, I've dragged a plan on, I can bring on some of my elevations as well East Elevation. If I want to make changes without having to jump back to the East Elevation itself and stay in Sheet View, if I click on it I get this option to activate the view that greys out the rest of the sheet and it means I can actually work on 
the elevation itself. And note though that that does change what's going on back here in the real view. So that's a direct look back. Let me just show you that again without jumping around. If I'm in this view, when I've finished working, if I want to come back to the layout sheet view, I would right click and then go to deactivate view and that takes you back out. Okay, so elevations, sections. 3D view is quite an interesting one. If I've got my 3D view set up like that, that specific angle can be thought of as where that camera is located. So I can drag that on to my sheet. So I'll go back to my sheet and I'll drag that one view on. If I wanted a different view in 3D isometric, I'd have to duplicate my 3D view. Let's copy a 3D view. I can spin this round. Go back to my sheet. Hasn't affected my first one. Drag copy of 3D view on. So you can think of those as live cameras. If I was to change one of these views, come in here, make a change to the view, come back to my sheet, it does change. So be aware of that as you're laying out these views. The answer to that would be to maybe use um, perspective views, which we can do. Go to level one. If I go to my view tab under 3D views, set up a camera. Set that to realistic view. And give it a name. Call it front door. Okay, if I want to put that onto my sheet as well, same process, drag and drop. The difference with the perspective view and the ISO view is with the perspective view, I can crop its size because it's not related to scale, and I can say that that should be 300. And that's, so that's how you change the size. Activating the view allows me to tweak an orbit within it, make some changes in there, same process, right click, deactivate view when you're happy with your change. Lastly we'll look at how to get more sheets, how to get some different sheet sizes and how to make the sheet layout bespoke to your needs. If I was to right click on where it says sheets and go new sheet, at the moment I've only got an A1 metric in there. If I need a different one I can go to load, go down to title blocks and there are some A3 sheets in here for instance. Title block A3, open that up and then OK that. That's now an A3 sheet. If I want an A3 sheet that hasn't got Autodesk Revit written across the bottom of it if I select the sheet, notice I can edit the family. You can make as many changes as you like in here now, as long as you save the changes. So I can delete that off, delete that off, get rid of quite a lot of this information here, don't deem it necessary, trim those back. select that. I might even want to get rid of some of this information such as checked by. I'm not going to do too much more in here but just tidy that up a little bit. Now the important thing is here don't just load it back into project. Save as a family. I'm going to save it as A3 blank. Now I've saved it, I can load that back into the project. 
I've been warned that I can't create this kind of element in this view. That's fine. It's over here. I'm going to need it. I'll delete that one I've already done. And when I go to new sheet now, the A3 blank is available to me as a type of sheet I can use. So I can start using that to put my layouts on. Obviously it's a smaller sheet so I'm not going to be able to fit things on quite so easily. This view is already placed on another sheet. That's a very good point. That's already on there. That's quite a nice feature. Warns that you've got duplicitous information. Land that on there. And I can start tidying it up the way I did it previously. Okay, so that's how to create an A3 sheet and make it look how you like. Okay, I hope that's clear enough for you. Um, please find the next video. Thank you.